one of the guys who was trying to buy it was trying to export it to Russia. And the other one was replacing the one that he had just finished totaling. One of the deals that I missed out on by what's, what seemed like just only a couple minutes. I, I've wanted to own, now I do. Um, I found the right car. But prior to this, I had almost bought so many cheap, like 96 to 99 S600s. Those cars, I mean, like the V12 in them, I mean, there's like, there's obviously F Spots car now, which has that crazy equal length header exhaust on it with from Brilliant Exhaust and it sounds insane. <laughs> Like that car in general, like I want it because it's, it's just such an evil looking box. And the fact that it has a V12 makes no sense, but I wanted one. I thought it was you know, just a really cool car. And uh, finding a clean one was something I wanted to own at some point in my life. And over and over again, you could say this was God telling me, no, you really don't need one, um, or at least not yet. But there were multiple times where I came very close to owning one. And notably, when um, searching for these cars, there was one that sticks out and it was, there was an S-Class I almost bought for a thousand dollars that was in Nashville. I was on Auto Tempest. I put in my normal search that I would when I was sitting in the bathroom of 96 to 99 S600s because 96 to 99 in theory from 96 on, they didn't have the alleged biodegradable wiring harness nonsense. Um, so preferably I'd love like the later the better. But you know, I really wanted one from that period. And uh, I wanted a black one, black on black. You know, now I look online for sale, it seems like those are harder and harder to come by that are clean um, and all original. There's a lot of white ones or blue ones with tan interior, but black on black seems like it's kind of hard to find. So I'm looking around online and eventually I stumble upon, it was posted that day. It was a 90, I think it was a 98, 98 S600. 200,000 miles, one owner, and the guy was asking a thousand bucks. And I first looked at it, I was like, this probably not real, but I click on it anyway, because you know, there's always the hope that maybe for some reason it's real. And I read the description and turns out the guy was liquidating his father's assets because he had just passed. And one of the cars he didn't even want to think about or deal with, uh, you know, the father was apparently, it did very well. And one of the cars that he owned was a 98 S600, black on black, and even had the option that my car to this day doesn't have, I wish it did. It was the old school Mercedes, like the 90s parking sensors, the first iteration of their um, parking sensors. And it had, a, it was built into the, the, um, the AC vents. You had these like this little, like um, it was a, it was like an orange progress bar. The bigger the bar, the closer you were to the object, it would beep and whatnot. And I mean, that is just like properly 90s stuff, like from Mercedes. And I was like, I want one with that. And this one had it. So I was very excited and I call the guy and he said, um, you know, thousand bucks, first one takes it. I just need it gone. So I hear that and I immediately go, I'm not in Nashville or um, anywhere near it at all. There's no way I can get to this car. I can't drive to it. There's no flight that I can get to it in time. So I put out a post on my, um, my Instagram page. I said, is anybody in this area? And lo and behold, an old subscriber of my old YouTube channel reached out to me and said, yeah, I live an hour and a half from there. I get off of work at five o'clock. I can go there, I'll drive for it. I'll drive to it for you. And if you send me money, I'll buy it for you. And I was like, it's a thousand bucks. Why not? Let's do it. So <laughs> I said, sure. I had no hope in the world this would actually come to fruition, but you know, as the day went on, someone says yes, like start feeling like it's actually gonna happen and it's like, I'm gonna own one of these cars. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. And I know that there's lots of parts on these cars that, I mean, the engine mounts for the damn thing are like 750 bucks from Mercedes. I mean, there's only a number of things that can break on this car that is going to cost a lot of money to fix. But I didn't care because it was a thousand dollars. I wanted it. The guy, uh, he drove there. He drove to get the car after work. He's, you know, he's telling, he's giving me updates of where he was. And uh, he starts to pull up. Car's not there. He gets out, he talks to the owner and says, you just missed them. I just sold the car they drove away two minutes ago. And he was here for a while too, you know, like trying to argue with his wife that this thousand dollar S600 was a good, you know, use of money. 
it's once again, it's like one of those things like, you know, afterwards, like I came back upstairs and I found out I missed out on the opportunity. I was upset. Dad asked like, what's going on? And I was like, I missed out on buying another S600. And he's like, good, good. You don't need it. That's God telling you, you don't need one. I'm like, I know, but I still want it. And, um, you know, a few months later, you know, with, uh, with everything else going on at Savage Garage, I ended up finding the right one. I ended up buying this car. It was a two owner car. The first person who owned it was a hedge fund manager. Um, bought the car. It was everything that that car ever needed. Dealer service taken, and like any time something went wrong, went to the dealer. The guy who bought it was uh, his name is Blake. Blake runs Wanna Go Fast, the half mile racing, which he's been on here before and told a couple stories. But I remember talking to him um, on the phone and like talking about the car, what cars he has and whatnot. And eventually, <laughs> I remember this was very early in Savage Garage time when we were talking, but. He, um, he starts talking about like going to PBIR and he knew Brooks from Drag Times. I'm like, what do you do by the way? He's like, oh, I have this like half mile racing thing. It's called Wanna Go Fast. We ended up, we knew each other through circles cause I had filmed a couple of his events like the Ocala half mile I had filmed there. And it was just funny. We knew each other through circles. And um, I bought that car. Um, I beat out two other Ukrainians that were trying to buy it. And um, I'm happy I did because one of them, uh, one of the guys who was trying to buy it was trying to export it to Russia. And the other one was replacing the one that he had just finished totaling. So I'm very happy to say that I have the car. It's not leaving my possession. Um, and it is also getting the uh, custom made, the infamous equal length headers that make the car sound like a Pagani Zonda. So that will be coming soon on Savage Garage. And um, when it does come, it'll be glorious. I can tell you that we've heard it start up already for the first time. It's good. So, you know, it was, it was one that I missed, the $1,000 S600, but you know, some things happen for a reason. Off the Record can help you find a speeding ticket or traffic citation no matter where you get it. You just download their app, take a photo of your ticket, and they match you with the best local attorney to achieve the best possible outcome. They can help you avoid costly insurance premium increases, points on your license, and other issues. And when you register, use the code VINWIKI for a discount on their services. If you don't have a ticket that you need to fight right now, go ahead and download their app and register using the VINWIKI code, and that will reserve your discount for whenever you might need it in the future. It's a great thing to have in your pocket when you never know who's going to pull up behind you on your next road trip.